Well, there's a lot of things I can't say. Um, yeah, we didn't play very well in the first half, so we definitely deserve to be down, I think. Uh, although, though, you know, I don't think should have been a foul there, but, um, you know, we, we come out pressing, but we, we had no, no rhythm whatsoever. We couldn't connect any passes. We just started playing their game by hitting some long balls, and, you know, they have 6'4", six, 6'3", four, six, six, four in the back, and we just played right into their game. So uh, very disappointed with our lack of composure in the first half. Much better second half. Uh, you know, our defenders stopped when the referee ran over to break up the little fight, and so I have no idea how that, <laughs> that was allowed to, to go in, but we're down, we, you know, we lost, so not pleased. Well, we changed to a 4-4-2, we changed some personnel, so we were able to put a little bit better pressure on them, we were able to get behind them a little bit, obviously we scored the goal getting behind them, um, and, and I think just opening up the width a little bit allowed us to possess it. We moved, we moved the ball better. We did not move the ball at all in the first half, not very well anyway. Um, and we, we kept the ball on the ground a lot more. It seems like um, you guys, uh, especially in the first half, they were very physical on a lot of 50-50 ball balls in the air. And um, some of the guys were a little frustrated. Um, what, what was the, what did you tell them in that time? Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, they're, they're huge. You, you know, we scouted them, and uh, we were hoping they won six fours left back didn't play um, that wasn't ready to play until this week and, and he did but they're big we told them that we we needed to keep the ball on the ground and we couldn't you know we played their game the first half and the second half we played way way better and um, you know I think I think very fair score would have been 1-1 but uh, that's that's the crazy game of soccer sometimes Yeah, it, it definitely is. You know, this is not a type of game where it's, we know they're so strong defensively. They play a very, very tight eight block and, and we know they're not easy to score against. So when we tied them, we needed to keep it, we needed to keep it that way. And uh, yeah, it really, it's really deflating for the players when they, you know, when they come down and score like that, especially the way it happened. What'd you like from uh, Max tonight? Uh, he seemed to give you an early spark, not just the goal, but he ended up with a quick attempt on, on net there in the second. Yeah, Max is a, is a very dangerous player. We're just trying to get him fit, you know, to be able to give him more minutes. So, you know, playing indoors, you put you, you come off in a minute, you play a minute, you come off in a minute, so you don't have any kind of fitness base. So uh, once he gets a little fitter, I think he'll give us you know, a lot more. But he's, he's very, very fast, as you can see, and very dangerous going to goal. So he'll help us when, when we can get him on the field more. Are you a little disappointed that uh, your players up top, especially in the first half, were not really able to maintain possession and give those guys on the wing more time to run and sort of create offense. Yeah, but I, I can't blame the guy. I can't blame Miro or, you know, anyone else that Lebo that went up there because the balls that were played then were all in the air. And, you know, it's very hard to, to bring a ball down when you have a big guy draped on your back. So I was just really more, more unhappy with the guys that played the balls, you know, into them up in the air. Okay, thank you. Thank you. How are you guys doing tonight? Thanks for coming out. Questions. Uh, you, you were debut game for the Riverhounds. You come in. What was your What was your mindset coming in? I actually played last week, but um, <laughs> it's all right. Um, I was a bit nervous actually when I played last week. It was uh, It was an honor to, to step in the USL. I'm a rookie, as uh, most of you know, and it was a blessing. God has blessed me to put me here, um, and I was a bit nervous at first, but after the few, first few minutes, I got 10 minutes last week and was kind of running around more than anything, but I got the jitters out, so now it's more ready to, I know what the level is like, so I just got to adapt, get fit, like Coach said, and just be ready to show up whenever Coach puts me in. What did you see on the sideline in the first half that maybe frustrated the team, and how did you go about trying to, to help out when you got in there? Um, from, from watching the game, they played New York Rebels two last week or two weeks ago. They, they try to stay compact, and what we need to do is uh, use the width to be able to attack them, and that's what I try to do. I didn't try to 
play through the middle as much. I try to stay out wide and get the ball. I think one time I got the ball out wide and was able to cut in because they're moving laterally. So once you get the ball and you're able to cut across, their movement's going to go against them. And um, I was able to get a shot off, but it was very weak. Um, but that's something I got to work on. If, if I'm able to connect properly with those shots, um, I think I would have scored. But um, I think they're a good team defensively. And uh, we just have to use the width, like I said, and just be able to play around them and make them move and use that against them. Last week with Paris, you guys were able to work on the second half. And then this week, kind of like the same thing, you guys were largely a better team in the second half. What is it about, you know, what happens at halftime when the substitutes that come on and really get the players to have that Oh, I don't think it's that we're a second half team, to say. Um, I know we've done better in the second half because as a team, we're fitter than a lot of other teams. So after the first half is done, they're able to try and sustain with us and stay with us. But after the first half, they start getting fatigued and we're able to keep the pace up. And today I felt like the system we changed and we kept the ball on the floor more. And um, we were able to play the ball around them and, and uh, do what we're good at instead of playing their game. From your perspective on the field, uh, when they got their second goal, what, what did you see with the scuffle with Robbie? And I mean, were you guys just sort of surprised there was no whistle there? Yeah, I mean, it's unfortunate when anything like that happens. Um, we play the game and we want to play it fair. And when, when other things cost us the game like that does, then it's very unfortunate, but it happens. Like, it happens at the highest level and we just have to play. Um, our defenders stopped and the ref wasn't even watching the game. He literally ran off the field and was looking at, at the defenders. And I don't personally, in my opinion, I don't think that should ever happen in a professional game. Um, and, I mean, the... I might take fire for this, but I don't think the officiating was the best it could be tonight, and uh, I think that cost us the game in the end. Just coming from indoor, uh, what's the transition been like the first couple of games? Um, it's, it's, it's very different. It's very different, but uh, I think the biggest thing for me is just to get fit. And um, the, the hardest thing is, is to get game fit. No matter what you do on the sides, uh, you have to play games to get game fit. And, I'm doing a lot of extra work, but I still can't get a game fit unless I get more minutes, and that's slowly becoming, because last week I got 10 minutes, and today I was able to get a, a half, and I don't think I did too bad. I could have done more. I could have been fitter, but you can always be doing more, and uh, I just hope to keep building and to keep working hard and be able to help the team whenever I'm called upon. How do you feel about the team fitness? I think, I think we were be, uh, fitter than a lot of other teams right now. Um, we, have a lot of, we do a lot of extra work. Um, we have a great organization here, and we have a lot of people around the team that help the team on a daily basis. And we have great trainers that just help us and help us to work on what we need to work on individually and not just as a team. So a lot of guys put in extra work, and we're just working to be, to be the best team we can be. And we have the, the right people to do really, really well this year. Any thoughts on the, uh, the I know it's cold again tonight. Not quite as cold as last week, but uh, any thoughts on your uh, the skill army and the fan base here? And Oh, the Steel Harmony was fire tonight. Like, I like that. In the first half, I was watching them, and I was like, hmm, it's not bad. Um, it's it's going to get better, for sure, when the, when the weather gets better outside. Uh, me, personally, I don't like the cold, so that's definitely a factor. And uh, hopefully when it starts warming up and with the later games, it will be nice and not, not cold, but cool in the evening, and we'll be able to get more fans and have a better atmosphere and be able to perform better. All right, for anybody have any more questions, you can find me at Twitter. <laughs> <laughs>